Here at SparkFun, we love complicated solutions to basically non-existent problems, which is why devices like the corded keyer are so appealing to us. And when I found out that we were going to be carrying the Cherry MX mechanical keyboard switches, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to build my own. The keyer is a type of corded keyboard, which means that instead of playing a single key, you play a chord or multiple keys at once. And what that lets you do is to type basically anything you could type on a normal keyboard using only one hand and five buttons. For instance, this is what it looks like when you type hello. Because you have five keys, you can divide it up into 31 distinct binary chords. So you have 26 for A through Z. Then you can put caps lock on one of them, and now you've got A through Z, capital and lowercase. And then I also added a period, space, backspace, and a return key. So that gives me access to basically everything that I need to type a simple text message, but only in one hand. My keyer is able to enumerate itself as a USB keyboard because I'm using the SparkFun Pro Micro, which has a native USB driver on board, so I was able to just make a few simple Arduino calls so that it would act as a keyboard, and when I plug it into my computer, it pops up just like any other keyboard that I plug in and works with all of my applications. I've also 3D printed this case and a series of keycaps, which gives it a pretty slick appearance and makes it a little bit more ergonomic to use. Of course, for the switches, I'm using the Cherry MX mechanical keyboard switch. And this is the kind of switch that you might find in a high-end mechanical keyboard. And you can really feel it when you push down on it. It has a really rewarding click. There's enough mechanical parts in here that it really lowers the amount of bounce that you get on a key press. So it's really nice to decode with a microcontroller. The Cherry MX switch has a unique footprint, so to make it easier to work with, we've rolled this breakout board. You simply solder the switch into place on the breakout, and then it gives you all of these nice little headers to solder to. We've made it possible to put all of these boards next to each other and create a matrix of switches by adding diodes to the bottom of the board. If you want to replicate my keyer project at home, you can get all of the 3D print files as well as the Arduino code on the GitHub repository, and a link to that is in the description of this video. Also, if you want to find more projects like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.